How's it going you guys? Kyle or Epic here with another tutorial for you guys this one. This is a big kind of like a unique tutorial one that most people don't do very often and it's over the importance of planning your run. A lot of people when they're doing like their next big video they do it in one shot wonders. They don't actually master the run very often and make it look clean. They just do it one time like okay I got it. So what this tutorial is about is about planning your runs and mastering them before you actually film them and how they look efficient. So this run is actually going to start where I'm at here. You'll be on here. You're going to pop a flip off here. Then you're going to run all the way down this way. You're going to roll up onto here with a shoulder roll. Run down. As you come to this edge, you're going to do stride, stride. I'll start. You're going to swing to your precision. From this precision, I'm going to dive on down here. And I'm going to run in between this area. I'm going to hit. Roll up on top of here. Oh, obviously less lazy than that. And then on this other side, I'm just gonna do a precision here to down there, and then roll up to the side. So, with that being said, I'm not just gonna do it all in one take as many times until I get all the runs perfect. We're gonna do it just like this. So, what movements you do don't matter too much. I recommend starting with the basics and working your way up, just like learning new skills. Don't just go balls to the walls right away. If you want to do it efficiently, you want to do it safely and professionally, get the basic one first and then work your way from there. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any too crazy big moves. I'm just going to do like nice basic flips just for the purpose of doing you know, a run. So I'm just going to start with a Webster off here. Master the first part, all right? And tricking, if you think about the whole combo, then you're going to mess up. Focus on one movement at a time. So on here, I'm going to master this part first. So I'm going to make sure I have it down here if you like it that's fine if you don't keep doing it drill it till you have it down don't wear yourself out obviously take breaks breathe control your body have fun but when you get down comfortably then progress from there so I land I run here if I run up I go like this kind of sloppy and I don't like that then you go back and you walk yourself through it you find a way to break it down on your own so you can learn to teach yourself so think about what did I do wrong there that made it so sloppy and what could I do to fix it to make it better so what I'm gonna do is instead of turning my body early and not jumping I'm gonna actually jump and go straight over so you go in here boom from right there upon out of that roll pop myself up and then I drill that so you drill the Webster to the roll so it was the first two parts so let's drill that Webster land and roll once you do that, drill it a couple times. When it feels good, go on to the next part. Out of that roll, you're gonna run, stride, stride, swing off that to precision into the calm. Now there's a lot of detailed movements in that one, so we're gonna take this one and pretend this is its own little thing. So, let's go to the beginning of that. Stride to stride. One, two, to precision, all right? Get that down. If you don't like it, do it better. So for example, I actually really hated that one, so I'm going to do it again. And then when you get that down, you, have, you like it, you like how it feels, it looks good on camera, then go from there and go on to the next part. So from that landing, into the calm. Make sure you have that calm down. A lot of people just get, might get too scared, they don't want to go right into it. So, start basic. Start from there. And go further out. And just drill that. All now, when you get that down, put them all together. So, you get stride, stride, precision, calm. And then drill that. Once you have that down, go to the beginning and do the whole run again. So, let's do the whole run so far. And then there, so you got that part. Work on the next part. Next part is this roll. Now being there's a roll there and a roll here, this part should be just as easy as the last one. So we're gonna skip the whole progression of that one. Come up. Now when you're doing this, you're gonna change directions. Now if you're not sure if you can do a jump like this, there's progressions to it. So say for example, this is what I'm taking off of. 
look at how far that is. If you have a measuring tape, which some people actually carry measuring tapes on them, use a the measuring tape and find out how far and how far and how high it is, and then do it off to the side. Once you have that progression off of the actual obstacle, take that same level of comfort, that whole mental awareness, and apply it to this, and then drill this. Boom. Boom. And then progress from there. And then master it. Drill it over and over and over until you have it down, until it's comfortable, until it's easy, until you are fully aware of where you are and you have total and complete control. When you get those down, then you do the whole entire run. Like so. And when you do it nice and efficiently, and you drill all the movements, everything's comfortable, it's easy, you can make it yours. You're not just doing certain movements, you're doing the movements with your style. So it's your unique, your own way of doing certain things. And not to mention, when you put it on your videos, people are gonna see that it looks clean, and they're gonna, you know, they're gonna acknowledge you for that. They're gonna say, dude, that was actually a really good run. And people can tell, if your movements are sloppy in it, they're gonna know. And when you drill them, if you watch anybody who drills their areas, it's gonna look easy, it's gonna look great. So just something to think about, something that you guys can kind of take for yourselves and go out there and progress. So we just got this whole flow down and if you want to take it up another level, you maybe have three steps that you take before you go into a vault and you want to just trim that down to two. You just take out bits and pieces here and there to make it that much more clean. Sometimes the more simple a movement is, the better it looks. Uh, I know sometimes for me I like to just keep throwing in more things and it doesn't always look that clean but when I take it back a notch then it's so much more it's so much better uh, like we got the the Kong over there maybe you don't want to go into a Kong because that's getting easy you want to make it a bigger Kong you want to make it a diving reverse vault you want to throw in a double Kong to dive roll you know just you just keep taking it up to that next level until you push yourself and you're like wow this is this is, this is actually challenging me. Uh, when, when you do something you hit it the first time, maybe, it's, maybe you're just not pushing yourself enough. You got so much more potential. Reach your potential. Uh, I really challenge you guys for that. All right, so like what me and Andrew were talking about a moment ago was when you're doing certain things, give yourself like an extra challenge. So when something gets easy, make it flashy. If you get the Kong, do a double Kong. If you do like, if you got a nice little spinny vault thing, do a reverse vault. If you got the reverse vault, do a reverse double leg vault. Spice things up. Don't just let them be easy and let them get boring. Add a flip, add a twist, add a new variation. Do a shoulder roll instead of like, you know, a, a, like a dive Kong or something totally different. You know, instead of flipping off a ledge, dive down to the ground below. Just different things to spice it up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take that whole basic run and I'm gonna add a little bit of flair to it. So just real quick, if you guys have noticed, I've been wearing these headphones the entire tutorial. They're called Your Buds. They're never gonna hurt your ears and never gonna fall out of your ears. And I recommend them highly if you guys like to train with your music. And instead of the hassle of worrying about your headphones popping out all the time and having to readjust them before you do a run, you just put them in like this. Tip down in place, you twist and it locks in place then Good to go. Do flips, crazy stuff, and then they'll stay in your ears. So you can check out more on those in the description below. And that's all I gotta say about that. He's good. And so there you have it. That's how you efficiently plan out your runs. And don't half-ass it. Do it, drill it, because one, you'll get more practice in. Two, those movements that you do will be much better, much cleaner, you'll get a workout. I'm sweating my balls off here. And not to mention, it's just gonna feel much better knowing that you're that much more in control of your body. So, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Take great care, stay positive, keep moving forward. And if you don't know about Andrew, check out his channel. Annotation is on the screen, or you can find the link in the description. So feel free to check out his channel. With that, take care, guys. Stay positive, and go play. Train safe.